she's always been a very bubbly kid. Uh, we realized that uh, there was something not quite right with her when she was probably nine months old. And uh, we started seeing a whole bunch of doctors at that time. But she was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis type 1, NF1. And uh, what it basically means is that you can get tumors uh, in any part of your body where there's uh, nerve endings. Uh, was discovered that she won she had one on her in her brain and along the optic nerve it's just something that you just completely don't don't expect she 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 was you know diagnosed when she was little and you know we at, at the beginning we, we didn't realize that she was losing her vision uh, they decided to do some chemotherapy and then you just get completely shocked right I mean it's, it's, it's something that you don't expect and you don't understand and you think that uh, chemotherapy is just for patients with uh, cancer. In this case, she doesn't have cancer. Her tumors are not malignant, but she still needed the chemotherapy. And she was, you know, quite a trooper. I mean, she, it's, it's amazing what that kid did way back when, when she was two and a half and she had no idea what all of this was happening to her. We found the most amazing care for her here at the IWK in Halifax. So they did an MRI and they decided that that tumor had uh, started growing again and that the next course of action and the most aggressive one would be uh, radiation therapy. And so we met with Dr. Rob Rutledge in, at the IWK, which was the radiation oncologist for her. He said, you know, there's a Make-A-Wish Foundation in Halifax, and I think that uh, you should talk to them. And so we did. We got in touch with Make-A-Wish, and the amazing people that work in Make-A-Wish Atlantic Chapter, they said, yeah, no, Brenda, perfect for um, for a wish. Brenda wanted to go to Paris. It, it, it was one of her goals in life. Make-A-Wish uh, here in Halifax does a fundraiser. They invited us for the dinner. And at that dinner, they, they revealed the cake and they said they called Brenda to the front and they showed her the cake and the cake had this beautiful photo of the Eiffel Tower and it said on the side, Brenda, you're, you're going to Paris. And, and, and Brenda was just like, what? I'm going to Paris? Oh my God, Mom. And she started just being very, very happy and she just hugged me and the only thing I could see was like this huge big tears of, of happiness of, oh my God, I can't believe I, I, I'm going to Paris. Paris was, I mean, like I say, Paris was just this beautiful, beautiful experience. You know, we're taking a tour of the city. She has her visual aid. Her head is whipping 360 degrees almost, you know, looking at everything and, and trying to get everything in one go. It doesn't matter if she completely loses her vision. She she will still close her eyes and see the Eiffel Tower and feel the, the river. And it, 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 was, it was just a beautiful, beautiful experience. With the granting of her wish, she, she, she realized that uh, there was a lot of people behind her that believed in her, all the preconceived ideas of what was possible for her to achieve, that didn't matter anymore. That just gave her hope for her to be who she wanted to be and what she wanted to be. Make-A-Wish has kept Brenda very involved. Every one of these things that Make-A-Wish involves her in has just been out of this world. She's very happy to be able to participate and, and give back.